Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. Today was an eventful day. A conference call with military and government officials, the front line, our offensive actions, the result of our weapons, new Ukrainian weapons is 700 kilometers. The task is farther. The important news for the front line is that we have agreed on the supply of armored med evac vehicles to Ukraine, a large batch. This is what the warriors told me about when we visited combat brigades. The Ministry of Defense has reported on this today. As always, on the conference calls there were intelligence reports from the main intelligence directorate and the Foreign Intelligence Service on the plans of the occupiers. Their plans are hopeless. I held a meeting about next week's international events. There will be significant sins, important negotiations for Ukraine. Another meeting concerned September 1st, the beginning of the new school year. Deputy Prime Minister Fedorov and Minister Lisovei, together with their teams, are preparing a very positive information for our school children, parents and teachers, something that will really help. I congratulated the Kyiv Polytechnic on their 125th anniversary of the university. It was extremely pleasant and useful to communicate with students and lecturers. Education will always remain the element that gives strength to people and the state that enables us to develop and become stronger no matter what. And I would like to thank today our students and lecturers, our educators, who not only receive or help receive education, but also make the educational process as practical as it needed right now. When the bright minds of our people help the Ukrainian defense in particular, our students have good projects, powerful projects. The Ministry of Strategic Industry has something to implement. And one more thing. I had a meeting with representatives of BAE Systems. The world knows this company very well. And our warriors are already very familiar with the weapons produced by this company. In particular, artillery L-119 and M-777, armored vehicles CV-90, which are very powerful. The company is starting to work in Ukraine. Our goal is to have all the most useful weapons for defense produced in Ukraine and it will happen. We already produce certain items and we will produce all the necessary ones. I thank everyone in the world who helps. I thank everyone who fights and works for Ukraine. I would especially like to mention the 47th Separate Mechanist Brigade. Thank you guys for your advancement. The warriors of our 44th Artillery Brigade. Thank you for your accuracy. Glory to Ukraine.